suffered by the victims. Thomas Lubanga's ruling will go down in history as being the first sentence the International Criminal Court has handed down since its inception 10 years ago. Lubanga, who was found guilty of committing war crimes, of enlisting and conscripting children under the age of 15 years and using them to participate actively in hostilities in the DRC, will spend 14 years behind bars. This term may, however, come down to just eight years, and this is why. Pursuant to Article 78.2 of the statute, the court shall deduct the time spent in detention in accordance with an order of the court. The court may deduct any time otherwise spent in detention in connection with conduct underlying the crime. Lubanga has been detained in The Hague since 16th March 2006. The prosecution had called for a stiffer penalty of up to 30 years, although it was willing to have it down to 20 years if Lubanga showed remorse for his crimes. Lubanga armed group. Former Chief Prosecutor Louis Moreno Campo, who until recently had been handling the case, had said Lubanga deserved a stiff sentence because his crimes were of the most serious concern for the international community. In delivering his verdict, however, presiding judge Sir Adrian Falford handed down blistering criticism of the prosecution, noting that they did not provide enough evidence to support their case. Not only did the former prosecutor fail to apply to include sexual violence or sexual slavery at any stage during these proceedings, including in the original charges, but he actively opposed taking this step during the trial. The prosecution encountered enormous disapproval for how they handled the case. Critics argued the prosecution did not provide sufficient evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Lubanga was guilty of the crimes he was accused of. Lubanga's team has not said if they will file an appeal against the conviction or sentencing. Edith Kimani, KTN Prime.